Yes. We baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, like the apostles, or in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, it's easy because uh, they, they baptize in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit was carried out by the apostles. The baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit was carried out by the apostles. And other ministers of the early church. Except that the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit is by the Apostle Peter called the name of Jesus Christ. Because he had the instruction and he knows the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Notice, not the names of the Father and of the Son, but the name. In answering the first question, we have just shown that where we regard Jesus as the Son of Man or the Son of God, we are referring to his divine service. Nous référons à son service divin. But his deity. Mais il est deity. The very God of the very God. Le Dieu véritable. So if you baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, you are baptizing in the name of the Father, Donc, of si the bat... Son, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Donc, si tu baptises au nom de Jésus Christ, tu baptises au nom du Père, du Fils et du Saint Esprit. That is why in Acts two thirty eight we see Peter say, "Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ." C'est pour cela que dans Acts two, the verse. 38 uh, of 38. Uh, 38. Okay. Uh, L'apôtre Pierre. The, the, that they should baptize in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 But in Acts 19, Acts 19, we find Paul Amen. baptizing Amen. them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Baptisant au nom du Seigneur Jésus. Mm -mm. Yes. You are correct. They baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus. A baptisé au nom du Seigneur Jésus. In um, Acts 2 38, they baptized them in the name of Jesus Christ. The word Lord is not put there. Okay. Et dans Acte 2, le terme Seigneur n'était pas, n'apparaissait pas. So when they wanted to baptize, they, 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 they are not cramming a formula. I baptize you in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. I baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I baptize you in Jesus' name. Are all the same. Okay. Donc, lorsqu'ils baptisaient, ils disent, je te baptise au nom du Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Je te baptise au nom de Jésus-Christ, au nom du Père, du Fils. C'est la même chose. Because Jesus Christ is the very God of the very God. Parce que Jésus-Christ est le Dieu Elle est véritable Dieu. Amen. And there's no other name revealed whereby we shall be saved apart from the name of Jesus Christ. So what should we do in this age? We can be baptized in the name of the Lord or in the name of the Lord Jesus or in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But if one is also baptized and say in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, he has not erred. Donc, que celui dise, quelqu'un dise, Que quelqu'un qu'on baptise au nom de Jésus Christ ou qu'on baptise au nom du Père, du Fils et du Saint Esprit, on n'est pas en train de s'égarer. The more we look at Jesus, the greater He becomes. Le, le plus on regarde à Christ, le plus grand il devient. And he will, those who baptize Jesus in the name of Jesus, we are not baptizing at a lesser name because Ce Jesus Christ is the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of his glorification, Donc, as we see in Acts 2, 
33 to 36. Donc, celui qui baptise au nom de, de, de Jésus n'est pas en train de baptiser à un, à, à un niveau inférieur. Because Parce que Jesus Christ is declared to be Lord and Christ. Parce que Jésus Christ est déclaré Seigneur et Christ. In Acts 2, 36. Dans Acts 2, verset 36. This same Jesus, Ce même Jésus, has been declared the Lord and Christ. A été déclaré Seigneur et Christ. Amen. Amen. It's exciting. C'est excitant. Hein? So um, it will be mere religious carelessness to have a conflict in your spirit because somebody says, "Name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit." Remember. Rappelle-toi. If we go to Acts two, si on va dans Acts two, then we'll be able to say, "Who is the Holy Spirit?" Nous pouvons poser la question, qui est le Saint Esprit? Jesus said, Jésus a dit, "Of the Holy Spirit, another one like me, I will say." Un autre comme moi. So the sameness between the Holy Spirit and Jesus was given in John 16. Donc la ressemblance a été donnée that was dans Jean. That was before his crucifixion and resurrection. But after his resurrection, we are told clearly in verse 33. Dans le verset 33, John 16. John 16, you leave that one. We are talking of Acts 2. I've quoted John 16 okay. that Jesus said, I will send you another comforter. Another like me who will be with you. Verse 33, therefore, being by the right of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, as shared for this which you now see and hear. So it is the Lord you read and gave the Holy Spirit. Par la droite de Dieu, il a reçu du Père le Saint-Esprit qui avait été promis. Il a répondu comme vous le voyez et l'entendez. It is the spirit of Jesus glorification. C'est l'esprit de Jésus-Christ glorifié. Who does not speak of himself. Qui ne parle pas de lui-même. Because he is, he is not another. Parce qu'il n'est pas une autre. He only speaks of Jesus. Il parle de Jésus. He speaks of Jesus. Il parle de Jésus. For he is the spirit of the glorified Jesus. Parce qu'il est l'esprit de Jésus-Christ glorifié. That puts to an end the unnecessary conflict people have when they see somebody baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Or in the name of uh, the, the Lord Jesus. Or in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is his full title. Amen. Amen. Glory! Glory! More things could be said in the day they need to be said, but this is sufficient for our present purpose.